more and more younger women becoming house owners in Hong Kong, the first twin panel cups born in Canada, and blind pianists from the Chinese mainland competes in the prestigious contest. You're watching Dirty Five, and I'm Andrea Dan. In Hong Kong, the percentage of women owning or renting their own house is rising and expected to continue to rise in the coming decades. The Census and Statistics Department estimated that by 2049, 56.6% .6 of women aged between 35 and 39 will be householders. That's nearly 10% up from 2011. Of the slightly older women, between 40 and 44, 46.4% will be householders by 2049. That is a 9.10% rise. The trend sheds light on women's growing economic independence and their growing influence in the families, or there may be more women remaining single. Earlier this week, the Toronto Zoo announced the birth of Canada's first panda cubs and is a pair of twins. The mother is Er Xuan, a female panda on loan to the country from China, together with male panda Da Mao since May 2013. Arshun underwent two artificial insemination procedures. Survival of baby cubs is usually rather difficult. Early in August, one of the twin panda cubs died soon after it was born. Yang Ying, a panda now living in Hong Kong, had a miscarriage earlier this month. Lastly, a 23-year-old man from Chongqing, Western Chinese mainland, who is blind, is a contestant in this year's prestigious show pan competition. Luo Xing is competing against 77 other pianists for the top prize, but being able to qualify for the competition is already a feat. Luo became blind when he was one year old, and at age six, he started to become obsessed with pianos. His parents, who earn a humble income, tried their best to support Luo's passion for music and sent him to Poland to study for more than five years. The Chopin competition's winner will be announced on October the 20th. The award is the prize of 30,000 euros. That is it for today. If you have any thoughts, leave your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to 3 5 YouTube channel. Have a great weekend.